tired of your job, frustrated not knowing how to transition from employee to entrepreneur, do you want to have more meaning in your work? This is something that is repeated time and again by my clients. Some of them are just getting started into something new. Some are moving into bigger responsibilities in their businesses. And some, like you, are really thinking about an exit strategy. Hmm, where to start? You know, the answer is in knowing you better. Knowing God's design of you and creating a business that is truly right for you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about your first strategy. The first strategy to moving from being employed to being the employer. And it all starts with understanding God's design of you. Join me. Hey there, wise woman, this is Deneen TB, your Christian business growth strategist and clarity coach. And today I wanna chat with you about where to start when you have that pull from God to do something outside of your job, that job you feel like you're stuck in. We'll talk about the first step, just the first one that will get you moving in the right direction. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are liking the content here and let me know how it's really helping you to connect your faith and your business. Thanks. So you may know about me that I talk a lot about personality profiling. As a teacher, I used this approach to give my students the best possible learning environment for themselves. It's important to understand not only how you learn, but also why you respond the way you do, your level of empathy, and how you can really use your strengths. You know, as an entrepreneur, you have to know you. It is so important because when you're an employee, you've been hired most times for the abilities that you have or the skills that you have learned. When you're an entrepreneur, well, you need to know a lot more about yourself because you wear all the hats. In Calling Clarity, we help you create this business like a new mosaic, a mosaic of you, all of your parts coming together in just the right way to create a mosaic of your business that truly reflects you. So what does this do? Well, what it really does is it energizes you. It gives you that perseverance that you need and it makes you stand out. All these things that are so very important as you present your offer, your unique solution to your ideal clients. So let's go over this first strategy to leaving your current job, knowing you. Where to start? Okay. We always know, and I always say this, and I think this very much, the great place to start is to go to God in prayer and with your journal. <laughs> very important to journal your process and your progress. Ask about the pull that you are feeling to leave your job and make sure that this is actually from him and not just something that you're doing because you're bored or you think, oh, I deserve something more or you think that you can't serve God inside of your job. Make sure that this restlessness is really from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is really prodding you. Let me tell you about Tishé. Um, we spoke recently on a clarity call about her desire to leave her present job and do something more meaningful. Wow. She has an idea of what she wants to do, but she doesn't know how she could actually monetize it. That's very important in business, right? She does know a few things about herself. She knows things like she likes teaching and writing, and she likes sharing biblical strategies and encouragement with blended families. We chatted about this intersection that she has of the things that she loves, the things that she's good at doing, and what really breaks her heart. Yet, she's still unsure what to really do next. What would that really look like in a business? So my response is go deeper. When you are so multi-talented, which I know you are, you're gifted, you're skilled, it can be really hard to determine the direction to go. You see, Tashe is a process manager at her present job, and she also does quality assurance for the customer service team, and in the past, she has led teams herself. She understands business really well. 
You know, knowing yourself goes beyond just the passion that you have. It goes to the core of who God has designed you to be. And that means looking at all of these pieces to determine what God wants you to do now. Now, if you could create a snapshot of who you are at this moment, what might that look like? So I hope you have some paper and pencil because I have some things for you to jot down, things for you to do. First of all, think about this. What learning have I done? You can write this on your list. What certificates do I have? What degrees? What hours of practice have I done? What repeated actions have I done, whether they're on the job or off the job? Even your hobbies that you love spending hours and hours of time perfecting. Jot those things down, those things that come to your mind. Don't exclude anything. Don't knock off anything. Just what is coming to your mind right away. Next, I want you to look at the jobs that you have had or that you're presently doing and jot down what you actually did in those jobs. Not the position title, but the actual projects you worked on and in what capacity did you actually work on them? What did you actually do? And don't forget, not just jobs, but also those volunteer projects that you've participated in as well. Then make a list of those things that you hold most dear in life. These are your values. These are the things that guide you to act the way you do, react to others the way you do, and really stand up for the causes the way that you do, the things that are important to you. It's called your why why you do the things you do. Those are your values. Another part of your snapshot is simply understanding how to use all of those talents and strengths in a way that is productive and really energizes you to do the things you need to do to move out of the job and into entrepreneurship. You know, strengths are really just those talents that you've done repeatedly over and over and now You're really good at doing them. That's a strength. So I want you to make a list of your talents. Anything that you can do. Remember, talents are not just these artistic endeavors. It can be anything from being well organized and being a great listener to going all the way to playing the piano and writing novels. You know, with coaxing, your talents can be brought up to the surface and really turned into strengths that will allow your transition from job to entrepreneur to be a really smooth one. When Cheryl Lee um, filled in her snapshot, we call this the 360 degree view tool in Calling Clarity, it was amazing to see so many things that were repeated in her life. She had expertise in writing, she valued creativity, she loved design, She had talent in coordinating events, and she wanted to develop and strategize solutions with others. Everything pointed towards using the creative side of herself to do the work that she wanted to do as a relationship coach. And when we walked through what I saw in the snapshot, I mentioned that she should consider retreats to get her ideal clients in the door and then to offer continuing coaching. She almost cried. She immediately told me that this was a dream. This had been a dream that was tucked away down inside of her. She wanted to do this, but she didn't know how or if she could. So my question, are you sitting with a dream right now as you sit in your office, as you sit listening to me? Is there something more that you know you could do if you could only focus on God's design of you? Well, I encourage you to create your lists and start looking for those things that do come up again and again and again. These are the things that God will use in your new endeavor. In Calling Clarity, we really help you to create your mosaic masterpiece business. That's what our model is called. It's based off of Ephesians 2.10, which says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things that he planned for us long ago. Your pool into entrepreneurship is one of those good things that he planned for you from the foundation of the world. And those clients you are going to help 
Hmm. They are just waiting for you to show up. So if you're ready to take your first step to moving from where you are in that job to where you want to be as an entrepreneur, I invite you to get on a call with me. Let's see if calling clarity can get you focused on God's design of you and move you into what he wants you to do next. Remember, knowing you is the first step. Without knowing you, you will try things you think are going to work, but you're only going to be disappointed. Maybe you have tried to start other things in the past based on an interest that you had, or maybe it was even something someone told you that you were really good at doing. Maybe you have a side hustle even now, but it's just not feeling right and it's going nowhere fast. Don't resign yourself to staying in your job if God has called you to step out. Let's explore your possibilities together. Make your appointment today. Now, I want to leave you with one last list to make. More like a checklist. These are really questions you can take to God. Pray over them and journal about them. The entrepreneurial life is not an easy life. God is using this adventure to really transform you into the image of his son. So, are you really ready? Be honest with yourself and answer these questions. Do you know your passion? The problem that you want to solve for other people. That's what the passion is, right? Are you willing to work? Because this will be work. You must have a strong work ethic. Are you good with people? Whether you are introverted or not, you cannot be afraid of reaching out to people, talking to people, and being viewed by people. Are you determined to make it work? That means taking the risks and working in a mindset of trial and error and reframe. That's a mode you have to remember to be in. Are you creative? Again, this is not artistic, but are you creative as a problem solver for those that you serve? Do you have confidence? You know, it's hard as a solopreneur, but confidence grows when you commit to getting the help that you need to make it work. The last question is, do you have the discipline to keep going? Consistency is the key to doing anything well. At the beginning, I asked if you were tired of your job and frustrated not knowing how to transition from employee to entrepreneur. The first strategy to moving in the right direction is to understand God's design of you. Only then will you have all the things that you need to do the work that he is calling you to do. Thanks for watching today. Make sure to like this video and you know what? Give me a first step in the comments if you've made it to the end here. Are you ready for your first step? And don't forget to subscribe. This is Deneen TV. Have a great rest of your day and as always, be filled to overflowing.